In this video, we're going to talk about how to connect to Google Sheets data using Tableau Desktop. We're going to talk about how the live connection works, how the data refresh works in Tableau Online and Tableau Server, and we're going to get into exactly how to do it. I'm going to show you step by step. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe because I post videos every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, and be sure to hit that notification bell so you get an alert every time I post a video. Let's get into the training. We're going to start where we always do, which is basically the raw data. The information I've got here is something I used for another tutorial, but it was kind of nice and handy. So I have it available, right? And I've got some postcode data. I've got ghost sightings, uh, longitude and latitude, and I'm going to create a Google sheet. All right, so let's open this up. I've actually tested this already, so I don't get embarrassed during the video. Let's copy paste this. Now my internet's been a bit weird today. It's slower than usual. So let's just wait for this to paste. There we go. And I can pretty much just get out of this and I'm back to kind of the start. All right, let's jump into Tableau. All right, so from the main page, we're gonna connect to Google Sheets. So I've got it here because I was testing it before, but if you can't see it in here on the left, click on more and we're going to go Google Sheets. Now, if you're like one of my friends who for the life of me cannot see things like that, she always uses the search by all means use the search, right? And you can see it right there. And then what it's going to ask you is connecting to the Google Sheets via your Google account. So you go ahead and do that. Yeah. Do you want Tableau to access the, di uh, the data? Yes go on, allow, and then Tableau created this window to authenticate. It's safe now to close. All right, once you close that, you're gonna get this window in, uh, in Tableau and you're gonna see that file that we created and then we're going to go connect, All right? And it's that simple. Tableau's gonna read it. It's gonna put the data types and everything like you can see here. We can connect this to other data sources that not just in Google Sheets, you can connect it to Oracle, to Excel, to text files, to Hadoop, to SQL Server, to Salesforce, to whatever you like, whatever you like. All right, and then let's go in and let's just do a visualization. So for this one, I'm gonna do latitude, longitude, and let's bring the postcode in, and let's add ghost sightings. So you don't have to do this part. This is really just to kind of show, um, that we have a visualization with some data in it. And then I'm gonna go format, map layers, right? So you don't have to do this part. It's really just for my own, you know, something pretty to look at while we work on this, All right? So there we go. So how does the live connection work? So in terms of Tableau desktop, this is a live connection. How do I know that? Well, when I go back to the data source, you can see up here, we have the connection type, so live and extract. So it's not real time live, but it is a live connection. So what I mean by that is if we go back to Google and I'm gonna delete like heaps of data from this. So let's say everything from here all the way to the bottom, let's delete all that. So there's no information in there now. And I go back, this will not update straight away. Instead, you have to click this refresh data source or if you're in here, you can go refresh or you can go data, where is it? This one, you can go refresh or you can press F5 on your keyboard. So there's heaps of option, options for you. I tend to do the F5. And what's gonna happen is when I press F5 or any of those refresh options, you can see it's now reduced all the way down to the data that I've left in there. All right, this is Tableau Desktop. How does Tableau Online work? Well, I haven't got a site set up at the moment, but I can explain how it will work. When you publish this, maybe maybe a maybe a drawing will do. We'll do good here. All right. Uh, where's my drawing tool? Okay. So right now the data is in Google, right? And we have our Tableau Desktop. All right. So it's basically feeding this way. So let's give this a few labels. Let's call this Google Sheets, right? And this is Tableau Desktop, right? Then when we publish this to the cloud, right? Let's draw a nice, beautiful, pretty cloud here, right? Your visualization now exists in the cloud. So we have that little map of Australia or a Batman symbol, right? Instead, what happens is this is sort of like a local copy it exists on your computer, but after you publish it, it exists in the cloud. And this you can actually consider as your main 
uh, dashboard, that's the master dashboard. And every time you need to edit it, you can download it from online, edit it, and then republish. So actually what happens once you've published it is you could, this disappears in a sense, and the Google Sheets is now live connected to Tableau online. So when we update Google Sheets, does this update straight away? Well, not straight away. What I found is that it's uh, it's a timer. It's like a schedule base. So it won't be instant, but it'll be probably within 10 or 15 minutes that will update, right? Um, you can do that or you can force refresh it. There's a refresh button in Tableau Online, which is like a little button up here, and you can force the refresh. But every 10, 10 to 15 minutes, usually I found it hits the refresh and you don't have to do anything it does it automatically and that's basically how google sheets live connection works so i hope you guys enjoyed be sure to hit that subscribe button again i publish videos every tuesday wednesday and thursday make sure you got that notification bell activated and thanks for watching and see you guys soon